Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel, Dave D Fishing. So in this video, I'm going to be fishing in Plymouth in a larger, one of the larger ponds down there. Um, fishing for pretty much anything. I'm bored out of my mind. Um, the day I went fishing, it was the 15th, uh, sorry, the 16th of February. Um, and I was just trying for whatever. And the real big reason I was down there fishing was to try my experimental or my try to try a rig that I've never tied before is a helicopter rig which I'm going to show you shortly um I wasn't expecting to get any bites and I just wanted to get outside so it's always fun just to do anything to keep your brain busy especially if it's fishing related so I have been trying this pond for the past three weeks now I haven't caught anything I walked this um very large pond quite a bit i easily one day walked two miles and didn't find any fish i think it was just a bad time and it was definitely colder um, a couple weeks ago and this day that i went for this video the water was 38 degrees so it's warmed up quite a bit because i think it was like 35 i think it was like 35 degrees the last couple times i went out or just thereabouts and there was skim ice on this pond so um, and i'll also be using some ground bait slash method mix, which you could either clump on to your sinker um, or weight, whatever, what have you, or you can put it into a spod, which I'm gonna show you in the video and sort of chunk it out there in a very tight area. So you could keep casting on that spot and keep the fish there feeding. So again, large pond, I'm trying to help my odds and I am tired of walking around. Some days when you, or days you wanna go fishing, I just wanna sit and have fun and enjoy the scenery, which is the case in, in this video. So, um, yeah, let me show you what's going on with the rig, the method mix, and then we'll get to the fishing portion. All right, guys, I'm just going to show you this helicopter rig quickly. So I'm going to show you the components first, and then I'll get into why I like it. Um, you can actually, you can obviously make these yourselves or you can buy them pre-made. Let me untangle this quick. Um, so at the bottom, you have a little snap for your weight, anti-tangle sleeve, and there's a little size eight swivel in there. So inside this tubing is 35 pound coated braid, which you'd use as hook link material for a carp. I know it seems like overkill, but this is, it makes the rig work so much better. Um, I have used the pre-made ones and I love them. I just wanted to try and make one of my own. Um, as far as the tubing, this is it right here. It's made by Gardner. So there's a couple different sizes of this. There's a slim and a larger version of it. So I just went with the slim because I'm just trying for panfish or whatever in a small pond. So you also need these stopper beads right here, this rubber. And that sort of adjusts how high or how low this hook link will go on there. So if you're fishing in really weedy areas, you, you can push this top bead way, way up. So when you cast it, the buoyant bait will settle, will actually sl slowly sink and it will settle nicely on top of the weeds or whatever. And it'll just float just like that. And it'll obviously using, with this rig, I'm using a pop-up and it's called a pop-up for a reason because it pops up off the bottom. But the longer the hook link um, would, the longer hook link will work better if you're in a weedy area. So um, as far as the hook link, ooh, got tangled on the, sorry, it's got caught down here quick. Um, so the hook link itself. So you have, I made a little hair rig right here. So it's a little tiny size 10 hook. Obviously I made, I tied the hair. You got a pop up on there. Here's the wafter slash pop-up, whatever you want to call them. These are the 10 mil ones. I just chose yellow because it's obviously very bright. Um, so this is 35 pounds hook link material and it's stripped away so it's nice and it's nice and soft so it's not going to be too rigid and dig down to the dirt or look, um, look funny. And then you have anti-tangle sleeve right here. This is tungsten so it'll pull it right on the bottom and it'll let the pop-up hopefully do its job so it should sit just like that. And then there's actually a quick link in here. Let me show you. So the purpose of this anti-tangle sleeve 
um, a couple different things. So it pushes the hook link away from the rig so it doesn't tangle when you cast or when it's on the bottom or whatever. Um, and then another thing is there's a quick link on the that attaches the hook link to the rig itself that slides up and down. And this little quick link makes it easier for you to change out your hook link. Say you want to go to a larger one, you can have one pre-tied and just change it out quick. Um, and then the anti-tangle sleeve slides over that and keeps the um, that knot or that loop from coming out and you losing your hook, obviously. And then going up the rig, another anti-tangle sleeve and swivel. And that's really it. Let me just slide this back on there quickly. So these little tiny carp hooks are really sharp. All right, that's it. So the benefit to using a a carp rig, or uh, sorry, a helicopter rig is when you're casting it, this kit then can spin around and do all kinds of crazy stuff. Still spinning, and it won't tangle. So I like that. And then because there's free movement with this little eyelet right here that goes to the hook link, it lets the pop-up sort of pivot around and be a little bit more natural, it, especially in conjunction with the softer hook link right here. I stripped away all the coating, so it's really, moves really fluidly and a little more naturally in the water. And it also lets the pop-up sit higher off the bottom if because if it had the coating on it, it might sit crooked or that type of thing. So um, that's really it in a nutshell. And when I'm fishing with this rig in this video, I'm just trying to really catch panfish, but you could expect the errant catfish to come over and grab it. As I know, as from I learned this past summer that catfish love pop-ups and boilies um, and they don't swallow the hook, which is great. So speaking of, so when a fish comes over and grabs this pop-up or even if you have a boilie on a hair rig, so the fish will suck in the pop-up and the hook and what happens is if you, hopefully you tied this correctly, that's a, that's an, a hugely important as to how well this thing hooks up. So um, yeah, fish comes over, sucks up the pop-up and the hook. And as they're swimming away or they feel the hook point, the hope is they'll shake their head or they'll start swimming away with it and it'll stop. And the weight that's down here will actually drive the hook in their bottom lip and it keeps them from swallowing it. So it works really good. I, like I said, I've never had a fish, even large catfish su suck up most of the hair rig and the hook link and they don't swallow it. It works that well. So, all right guys, let's get to the video. All right guys, so I'm gonna show you this method mix or ground bait that, um, that I'm using right now. So mix this up at home because I don't want too much of it, just enough to get me through a couple trips. Um, and also if your hands are wet, you don't want to if you accidentally get water in there, it's gonna get moldy and I, I really don't wanna waste it. So in this bag, there is oatmeal, there's hemp seed, that's those little dark dots, and then there's Cloud9 um, attractant mix from Mainline Baits. It's from the Mainline Baits, um, it's a carp company, I believe it's based out of the UK. And um, I try and mix more oatmeal than anything else just so it balls up like this nice and easy. And it's also hard to get a hold of those other two ingredients because um, I feel like the supply chains are still having trouble. And the place I get it from, it runs out really quick. And I don't want to be out of those baits in the um, late spring and summer. So I'm trying to use it sort of sparingly. Um, so here we go. So you just mix this stuff up until it falls up. You can also wrap the stuff around your sinker if you want. Um, so the idea of me using this method mix slash ground bait today is it's winter time. Um, it's February 16th right now. The water's freezing. It's 30, the water's 38 degrees right now, but the air temp is like 52. So um, the fish are hard to come by in this pond particularly. I don't, I don't know why I have trouble doing it, trouble finding them. It's a fairly big pond. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. This place is huge and that wraps around, the, that's an island right over there. Water wraps around the island and then it makes this big giant U down around the corner. So this is a huge lake. Um, I've spent time walking around it two days ago. Absolutely nothing. I probably walked two miles around this thing casting and tried a bunch of different depths. I just couldn't find them. That's, sometimes that's how it is. So with this method mix, 
I feel like it would just help my chances if they are in the area they'll come over. So this stuff is pretty strong and it smells pretty good actually. Um, has a lot of proteins in it because of the hemp seed and that's what actually brings the fish over from what I understand. And to dispense the bait you have a couple options. You can wrap it around your sinker and cast it out. So the bait is right, the method mix is right on your sinker next to your bait or you throw it in one of these spots. Um, you check the little balls of the mix in there and you cast it out to wherever you're trying to fish and it goes upside down and it will it usually goes like this I just gotta sink it a little bit so it'll actually sink just like this and it'll drop the baits out in the water and you just give it a couple shakes just to make sure the baits fall out and that's really it and you just sort of make sure you know where you cast it so you can get all your rods out there with the bait on right on top of that ground bait and that's really it. So right on the left has a pop-up. It's a little 10 mil pop-up on the helicopter rig. And the right on the right has a high-low rig with Nightcrawler on it. So we're gonna see if we can't catch something today. This is mainly just going after panfish. Um, there's nothing else really. I'm just hoping for a bite. And I'm not expecting to catch anything. I just really wanted to go to try this pop-up rig, but I know this time of year probably isn't the best time to be experimenting with a helicopter rig. I've never tied one before. Um, I was curious how it goes because when I go fishing in the summer with pop-ups, the panfish seem to love them, but I'm using big 15 mil ones and I got a 10 on there now. So I'm hoping if they find it on top of the ground bait, they'll pick it up and might be a successful experiment so all right guys let's wait and see if we can't catch something all right guys so i got my little spot hooked up all right there that's it you just chuck it out and i filled it with ground bait already um you don't want to put stuff either not ground up or too sticky in there that's not ready to fall out because obviously you waste your time so um, these should just fall out they're like the size of a marble Sort of line myself up with my bucket. Let's see. I mean, a couple of them are gonna fall out, but that's all right. And then another thing you can do is, because I'm using this on, is my bait rod as well. Some people have a dedicated rod for this, so just put your line under the line tab right there. That's it. So that when I cast out, I know I'm right on top of my bait. That's it, all gone. So the stuff definitely works. Oh, my glass is on, so I'm like trying to make sure this is parallel with my other line. Right over there. Good, good, good. All right, so we're getting, I just casted this out not too long ago. I think I missed him. And I threw a bunch of wads of uh, mix out there. I think I'm caught on this and now it's starting to rain. That was, that was a good bite. I don't know if you guys saw that or not. Man, that stinks. That was a really good bite. Ripped apart my top one. All right. We're gonna add some worm on there. This is the high low rig. I'm just gonna leave some of those chunks on there. The old chunks. I'm gonna check it right over in the same spot over there. That was a really good bite. Seemed a little bit bigger than any sunfish. So there are catfish in here and I have caught them in the winter. 
over here a long time ago though. Just gonna put this up a little bit. I think I already got a bite on there. Yep. Look at that. Yeah, they're sitting right over my uh, ground bait right now. I think I scared them off, but all right, I'm gonna move my pop up over, over that way. It's probably gonna bite right when I put it down. What do you want to bet? I swear, fish no, fish no. They know right when you can't grab the rod. Watch this. I start reeling this in. Ooh, 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 ooh. All right. Curious to see what it is, biting down there. I'm willing to bet it's like a bluegill or or a perch. I want to I want to definitely catch one on a pop up though. I've never never done that, and I like I like little experiments. Are fun. What is that? Ah, oh, the good old perch. That's actually a really nice one. It's actually a really nice perch. Yeah, they're full of eggs right now, so we're gonna leave them be. I don't know if I can salvage this worm or not. I'm gonna chuck my pop-up over there, though. I really wanna catch something on it. Yeah, again, this is just experimental day on board and just wanted to get out. Oh, something's biting on it right now. Yeah, something's smacking away on that, but it can wait. It's probably just a little perch. Please give me something on the pop-up today. I'd be so happy. Oop, oop. Hmm. That was interesting. Got him. Not really fighting a ton, but it also is very cold, so. Oh, there he goes. Let's see, what is that? I bet you it's another... Oh, wow, it's a catfish. Oh, look at that. My first winter catfish in a long, 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 long time. Yep, so that method mix is working. Look at that. I know a lot of people eat these. This is a brown bullhead right here. 
So a really cool little fish. Let me snap a picture of me quick. Very good. Wow. Good little day. There it goes. Yeah, little bite on this one. Oh, hold on. Got him. Yeah, they're sitting right over my pile of bait. And it's very, it's a very small spot, so I'm actually line, um, locking up the line on this tab on the spool right there, just to make sure I keep getting out in the same spot. Yeah, this water is cold. They're not even really fighting over here. Let's see what we got. What is that? Another yellow. Little yellow perch. Good smallmouth bait right there. Yeah, this little guy. And my chum ball's still there. They're definitely, they're pecking at it because I'm getting these weird knocks on my sinker that, and it's, it's very bizarre. It's maybe 10 feet at the, mo at the most over there. But this pond, I think <clears throat> the deepest it gets is like 15. And that's actually on the, on the other side of the pond. But found a good spot today and the chum is working. <sighs> All right. <clears throat> Oh, there's a bite. Ooh. Nothing big. Well, the catfish was decent size for this time of year, though. We'll take that. Probably another perch. baby perch. Man, they destroyed this worm though in the bottom. All right, so after that last yellow perch, um, I tried for another about half an hour, wasn't getting any bites. I think they just shut off for a little bit. So pop-up rig, the helicopter rig didn't work and I found out that my pop-ups that I, I was using, those little dumbbell waf wafters, they were sinking to the bottom and they're getting clumped up in weed. So I'm gonna try a different one next Wednesday. Today's February 20th, so a couple more days. So two more days, I'm gonna give it another go with a larger, little bit larger pop-up and I'm going to change up my ground bait a little bit. So I'm going to add menhaden oil to the mix. So it'll be oatmeal, hemp seed, and a little bit of menhaden oil. And I think that'll do well. And I'm going to dip the pop-ups in some of that menhaden oil as well. So the cool thing with these helicopter rigs and these hair rigs themselves is that when um, cat, any type of fish picks up a bait when it's on a hair rig is that they hook themselves and it's usually in the corner of the mouth. I've never had a fish swallow a hair rig and especially a catfish that's nice. So I found these 
pop-ups and boilies work extremely well for catfish. Um, as I found out this past summer, I know most of you probably didn't watch the catfish and the cart videos, but um, yeah, they worked r extremely well. I was surprised and um, I usually use shrimp uh, for bait for catfish, but with the way the boilies have been working and the pop-ups, I might just go over to them and dip my bait in whatever oils or um, attractants just to keep life simple and it keeps the little bait stealers from yanking the um, making me have to reel in and rebate all the time so it is nice and it ends up being cheaper the um, the shrimp that I use I buy them head on when I go for a catfish and I think they're like eight bucks a pound so if I could just use boilies and they could peck the crap out of it that's fine with me you just have to reel it in every so often and um, dip the boilie or pop up in some oil and call it a day so yeah hopefully Wednesday we get out and I can experiment some more with this pop-up rig I'm gonna try just keep it more towards the catfish just seems a little bit more fun to me it's a little different so um, again experimenting not looking for attention or anything and I want to I just really want to see what happens in when we get all kinds of fish that should be coming to and making themselves more available um, as we roll into March. So the pike should be, I feel, a little bit more active. The yellow perch are going to be definitely easier to find. As opposed to this pond I was fishing in, it's a pretty large pond and I've fished quite a bit of it the past couple of weeks and I just couldn't find them. And I was like, I got to try something different in this ground bait 100% made them feed and I could cast onto the spot and I got bites pretty pretty quickly so I got a couple catfish I didn't include everyone in the video but you guys get the point so next week and next um, the next couple days so yeah two more days from now I'm gonna make a more concentrated effort on catching these catfish and I'll bring the camera with me and see how well it goes I'll go in the same spot and everything so all right, guys, thank you for watching my video. Um, if you have any questions, comments, ridicule, anything, just leave it in the comments below. Um, open to any of it. As long as I'm learning, it's good stuff. So, all right, guys, thank you.